Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to an all new topic on Visual Studio App Center which can be used to run Xamarin and Xamarin UI test kind of project within it. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch the Xamarin video series so that you can understand how to make use of the source code and use it for the demonstration which we are going to see in this particular video. Alright, so let's get started. Visual Studio App Center Visual Studio App Center is to automate the life cycle of your iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac OS apps. Connect your repo within a minute and build it in cloud. Test it with thousands of real devices and distribute to beta testers in app stores. And monitor the real-world usage with crash and analytics data. It's all going to be happening in just one place, which is nothing but the Visual Studio App Center. That's what is the real power of Visual Studio App Center. And that's how Microsoft is kind of marketing it right now. So Visual Studio App Center has many different features, something like continuous integration, continuous quality, continuous delivery, continuous monitoring, and continuous engagement. So these are the different kinds of features which Visual Studio App Center contains out of the box within it. And it's really, really helpful while you have a project which is being deployed and being developed by multiple people. And if you want to run and see how things are working on a real device, this is going to be just one place to perform all these operations. So as I said, the continuous integration in Visual Studio App Center supports following different services. So you can see out of the box, Visual Studio App Center supports continuous integration services, just Visual Studio Team services, which is kind of very, very popular right now. And GitHub, we all know about GitHub. It is also very popular. And then Bitbucket. So this is one of the another famous CI repo, which is available. And these are the different kinds of services being supported by Visual Studio App Center out of the box. So you can connect your source code, you can try to build a project, and then you can deploy, run in multiple devices out of the box in Visual Studio App Center and perform these operations. This is really, really cool. And as I said, this is not just one feature. It also has a feature to connecting with Git, as I already spoke before in our previous slide. And also you can monitor the quality of your application, how it's been working. So the continuous quality of application supports following different test frameworks like Appium, Calabash, Esperzo, and Xamarin.UI test. Well, Visual Studio App Center is in fact a fork of Xamarin Test Cloud, at least in the quality perspective, which we already discussed in our Xamarin.UI test course of Udemy. So the Visual Studio App Center is going to look or perform same and exactly like Xamarin Test Cloud, where you can run your test even from the local machine. You can push the application test from your local machine to the cloud and it will run the test and will show you the report which we'll be doing in this particular video in a minute but that's how it is actually being performed similarly continuous monitoring is another neat option which is not available out of the box in xamarin test cloud or any other solution but this monitoring is really really helpful where you can monitor how many sessions are being handled by your application at a given point of time and how many people are kind of using your application by current time frame and uh, which country they're accessing from, where the language is being used, and what the top devices which is being used, and daily sessions per user. It's more like how you do your website monitoring. Similarly, you can monitor your application engagement as well. And finally, continuous engagement. So this is going to be something like if you want to push a notification to your iOS, Android, and Windows application in a few easy steps. So you can segment your audience and engage them with the targeted message at the right time. That's that's also one of the great features which is available within the Visual Studio App Center. So we need to enable the existing code to support this App Center, right? Because it's not something which is available out of the box and it's pretty new. So how do we add that? It's very easy. Just add the Microsoft App Center and Microsoft App Center dot analytics needed package in your existing project, which is the Android project or iOS project, which is developed by Xamarin. And then add the following line of code that is shown here something like app center dot start of this particular grid id and then analytics and type of crashes well you need to add the particular line within the main activity.cs file once you're done with that that's it you're pretty much good to go so we'll be doing everything in action and understand how things work so for that i'm going to flip to chrome browser well this is the visual studio app center homepage. it's nothing but app center.ms and you can see that it has a very cool introduction page which it 
tells whatever it is actually doing and you can see that it is currently supporting these kinds of real devices you can test with i think uh, for any given subscription that you're going to sign in it's going to give you 400 minutes of test timing so basically you can use it for testing purpose and you can see how things are working so this is the notification that we just talking about so you can send a push notification to your application and then you can uh, enable your people make them happy uh, with the kind of new stuff that you're going to push in and you can also roll out some new messages like this is the new version which has been coming up in few months or something like that of your application so all these things can happen from the visual studio app center this is going to be a one point solution to perform all these operations all right so let's quickly try to log in and uh try to work with how it looks like basically i already signed up with my github account so you can sign up with your github or with the microsoft account facebook or google or you can create your own here so i'm gonna sign in with the github again this github is going to be our same exit automation github so uh, you can see that it is currently exit automation and i have already created a new project here so you can also create a project if you want so let's say if i'm going to add a project or an app for testing for instance let's say i'm going to test our xamarin.ui test app which i already developed and it is available in our github so i'm going to test that so uh, xamarin.ui test ea application and then uh, we're going to test that in the android and then we're going to test with the uh, with the platform like xamarin and then i'm going to hit the add new app so this is going to add a new app for us and you can see that within this particular uh project you can just scroll and you can see that there is a uh, there is some documentation available like what you're going to do basically in your code so you can see that you need to add these two stuffs, which is nothing but the app center analytics uh, uh, and app center crash, which is available using these two packages. You need to add these two NuGet packages within your project. And then you also need to uh, add these two, two lines of code in here. And then once you've done that, that's it. You can just try to see all the sessions just been coming up. So if I go to this particular analytics right now, you can see that the net is going to be pretty empty because nothing in nothing else is here uh, basically it's still in collecting data mode right so we are going to do this i am going to go over to my github.exeautomation.com and basically i'm going to use this same application for showing but since we already have a course which is going to be the xamarin.ui test course so i'm going to use this particular project which we already developed for automating the xamarin application because i already have a test cases for the xamarin.ui test so basically i can use that for showing how things are working so basically i'm going to use this guy to perform these operation so this source code of this particular project is currently available within this particular course itself so if you go over here you can see that it actually has the source code within it if you kind of buy it but as of now i already have it in my machine so i'm going to basically use it so for that i'm just going to go over here to my visual studio and this is the uh, source code of the particular application which i'm going to talk about and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my getting started page and here i need to add these two packages within it so i already have added these two packages within my particular project in visual studio for android project all right so now we are in our ea xamarin app and this is the framework which we have been developing within our course in the xamarin ui test course which we saw in our udemy so i'm actually not going to touch about the mobile framework right now rather i'm going to talk about this particular uh, ea xamarin app at android so here I'm going to go to these references and I'm going to go to this manage NuGet package. And here we actually have to install these two uh, packages, which is being mentioned here, the Microsoft app center analytics and the app center crash. So if you see uh, for me, I have already installed them. And similarly, uh, this one, the app center crashes is also already installed within my uh, project. But I need to do one more thing here. I have to go to the main editor.cs file and within this particular file, there is something called as on create. So within this particular method, I actually have to add the line which we saw over here, which is nothing but the, within this on create method, we need to add this particular line so that it will start getting the session informations out from this particular application. So I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna save it. And now if I try to build this particular application, 
you can see that it is gonna uh, build it and in the meantime I'm gonna go to my Android and I'm gonna start the Android emulator so that I can run this particular application within that particular Android emulator so currently it is booting so I guess the application has been built completely which is great and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this particular application within this particular emulator so what will happen here is once I run the application it is going to create a new session and we should be seeing a session information within this particular analytics which is currently kind of empty so uh, let me try to minimize this and try to run this particular application so it is kind of deploying the application within this particular emulator right now and once the application is being deployed over there we can see the session information is gonna, gonna show up in here and we can also see some event information of the application log and log flow and crash information if there is any crash within the application something like that and also uh, we can run the test in a minute uh, using very very simple commands again again this test is going to be pretty much like what I said before the Xamarin test cloud that's what it is so all right I guess it's still deploying all right the application has been deployed here so let me do some kind of activities here that what we did in our course so basically we do this EA and EA description and then I'm gonna hit the save button so it is gonna add this particular title uh, over here which is great and now if I go to my browser and if I go to the analytics I guess it is gonna start showing at least some information let me refresh this page there we go now you can see that there is some spike information here it seems like it shows that there is a uh, there is some access within the application so you can see that very quickly the app center has started picking up the session information so it's showing that uh, it's currently running in the United States but actually I'm sitting in this area New Zealand I don't know why it's showing the news uh, United States basically I don't know that and you can see that the device in version is going to be 2.0 so it also shows the device versions and based on the version it's going to list you so where is this version is actually coming in basically it is coming in from my project here so if I go to the solution explorer and if I go to uh, this particular project and if I go to the properties and you can see here the version name is 2.0 so let's say if I'm going to change this to 3.0 I'm going to save it and I'm going to stop this guy and if I try to run this particular application again so you can see that instantly it will also show the version of the application here currently it is 2.0 so I'm actually building uh, the application and I have changed the version to 3.0 let's see what's gonna happen so now basically it is gonna delete this particular uh, EA app and then it is gonna deploy the new build and then perform the operations like whatever we are doing before all right so now it has been deployed here and now let me do some kind of navigation within the application so all right so here and then I'm gonna hit add all right I'm not gonna all right I'm not gonna add anything here rather let me go over here and try to refresh this particular uh, app center so basically it should show us two versions which is 2.0 and 3 here and you can see that currently yeah there are two versions of course and then you can also see there is a session duration daily session per users and things of that nature so this is how the Visual Studio App Center analytics information is being shown and now if you're wondering how the build is actually working if I go to the github because I have logged in with the github usage it's automatically bringing in the github all the project which is available within my repo and I can choose the Xamarin UI test which is exactly the same project at least the application part not the automation part and it's going to show you uh, what is my last commit here so I'm going to choose that configure the build uh, and the mono version is going to be 5.4.1 and I guess it's all same but we're going to test within a uh, device not in the real device because we have to sign it but as of now I'm just going to leave it as it is I'm going to go with the default settings and if I just try to build this particular uh, project you can see that's currently it is building it is the status has been queued so if I select that 
you can see currently the build is running so you can also run the code from your github within your visual studio app center and you can also run the test within your app center from over here so if i go to the uh, test you can see there is something called as start testing your application you can select that and then if you choose the already setting configurations or if you can also choose the uh, new configuration if you want you can see there are 236 devices available for android so i can choose any one of them from here so uh, at least the minimum version of android for the application we developed is uh, 7.0 so i'm going to choose that and then i'm going to select this particular device and it says the test series is master you can select the master or you can create a new one if you want let it be master for now and our test is going to run on the xamarin.ui test framework so i'm going to choose that and this is the new thing which we have to do here basically we have to install the app center npm package and then we have to run our application using this particular command you can see that it is an app center of test run the ui test basically it's going to be the ui test which you can run the xamarin ui test and the application is going to be uh, the uh, application that we configured the xamarin ui test ea application here this guy and then the devices is going to be the device that we chose just now it has a, a unique grid id here and the application path of the apk file and the test series is master and then the build directory for the test basically it is going to be the xamarin ui test uh, build directory so this is something which we developed in our udemy course so we have to give all of them to start running so i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it over here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this devices alone because i have already uh, put the uh, the command over here so i'm going to go and i'm going to change the devices so this is going to run uh, my device and the app is going to be this one so i'm going to tape that this is going to be the app so i'm going to paste that all right other than that everything is going to be the same so i'm going to copy these guys and then i'm going to come to the command prompt basically i have already installed the npm package of app center so i'm going to skip, skip this particular step rather i'm just going to run this particular step so you can see that it is going to start uploading uh my uh, apk file and then it's going to start running the test so you can see it's pretty quick right now it's preparing the tests and then it's going to slowly try to uh, upload our apk file you can see it's uploading the file here it will take some time because i don't know why uh, it's kind of slow uh, when i tried before and it takes a lot of time to just upload a file and once the file has been uploaded there then start running the test so instead of wasting our time how everything is working i have already created the same stuff here so if i go to the home uh right oops you can see there's something called as ea taps uh and here there is something called test runs so if i select that you can see how the test actually look like once the test execution is done so I guess it is uploading and that's why my browser is a little slow all right you can see that uh, uh, it has run some of the test here and one of the tests has got failed as well and it will show you like how the test has got executed and what are the tests being executed and how it failed so there is add new list item so this is the uh, scenario you can see this particular scenario is pretty much exactly that you can see here add new list item within our framework right so it is running on this particular real device so you can see the device info it is actually HTC 10 and it has got failed by the way and I don't know why if you go and hit the locks you can see what is the reason for this particular failure of the test and you can see the test lock and the test failures over here so it's it failed in the fixture itself and there is a log information like why it has got failed we have not optimized the test to run in this particular app center but it's just to prove the point that Visual Studio App Center can also run you a test and you can also distribute the test if you want but currently the application that we have is not distributable because there is no signed key so that it is not distributable so you can also see the crash report it's currently in preview stage and also you can do some push notification and things of that nature 
Well, this is the app center guys. This is the app center one point solution for performing all the different kinds of operation within your mobile application using Xamarin and Xamarin UI test. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.